friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Recently, I posted a shelf spotlight video where I talked about first lines in books. And while I was looking for those first lines, I also noticed dedications. And so I started to look at dedications in books. And I pulled out 10 books that I love their dedications. Some are very simple, some are rather long, one is pretty humorous, and I just think it's really fun to see who an author wants to thank or dedicate their book to. Sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's very personal, sometimes it's more general, but let me just share with you 10 books. These are all books that I have read and really enjoyed. Yeah, I thought I liked all of these books because uh, I don't keep a book if I didn't like it. Anyways, but here's 10 dedications that I enjoy and I thought it might be a fun way to highlight some different books on my shelves. Uh, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with the humorous one because it really made me chuckle this morning. <laughs> and that is Austin Land by Shannon Hale. She dedicates her book to Colin Firth. For Colin Firth, you're a really great guy, but I'm married, so I think we should just be friends. <laughs> I think that's really cute. It's funny, this is a Pride and Prejudice retelling, kind of a modern day Pride and Prejudice situation. So I think it's funny that she dedicated her book to Colin Firth, the like quintessential adaptation Mr. Darcy. So very fun. Ready Player One is another dedication that, that uh, stood out to me. This is by Ernest Klein and it is a futuristic America, I guess, where a lot of life is lived in this virtual reality. And she did and he dedicates his book for Susan and Libby because there's no map for where we are going. I just really like that. The idea of the future not being laid out before us and we're just going to have to make make it what we make of it. What it, it. The future will just be what we make of it. I like that. There's no map for where we're going. I thought that was kind of cool. As I was looking through, there was often just books that had names, like to so-and-so. So I like when there's a little extra, a little extra to it. For example, here's another one with some names. Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein to Christina Looper Baker, who handed me the thread, and Carol Robertson Klein, who gave me the cloth. I just think that's beautiful. Both of her, like her mother and her mother-in-law, and the a little bit of what they gave to her. I thought that's pretty neat. Let's see. Bird Box surprisingly has a heartwarming dedication, which this is a horror book and is pretty creepy, but I really like this dedication to his mom. Sometimes I wish I were an architect so that I could dedicate a building to a person, a superstructure that broke the clouds and continued up into the abyss. And if Bird, if Bird Box were made of bricks instead of letters, I'd host a ceremony, invite every shadowy memory I have, and cut the ribbon with an axe, letting everyone see for the first time that that building's name. It, it, it'd be called the Debbie. Mom, Bird Box is for you. Aw, that's really sweet. <laughs> I love it. I love these. Here's another one that's pretty heartwarming. I found C.S. Lewis, who I love. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which when I read the series was the, the first in the series. Now it's book two because the magician's nephew is kind of the first setting up the world. But I like to read this one first, and this is to Lucy Barfield. My dear Lucy, I wrote this story for you, but when I began it, I had not realized that girls grow quicker than books. As a result, you are already too old for fairy tales, and by the time it is printed and bound, you will be older still. But someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. You can then take it down from some upper shelf, dust it, and tell me what you think of it. I shall probably be too deaf to hear and too old to understand a word you say but I shall still be your affectionate godfather, C.S. Lewis. So sweet. I love it. It's a little letter. Um, we also have some that are to those who have passed. Um, the Rose Garden by Susanna Kearsley starts out with a sister who's grieving the loss of her sister. And she, Susanna Kearsley dedicates this to her sister. For my sister, who as always has gone on a step ahead and still dances in my memory and my heart. That's beautiful. Well, that just made me emotional. I lost a sister and I love the idea. She still dances in my memory and in my heart. <sighs> then we have some that are a little more obscure or we don't really know exactly what they're for, such as Frederick Bachman and my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. Um, he dedicates this to the monkey and the frog for an eternity of 10,000 tales. I'm sure there's some kind of inside joke or like 
code name for somebody, two people in his life, the monkey and the frog, for an eternity of 10,000 tails. I'll take an eternity of tails. <laughs> I've got them here on my shelves. These last three are not for anybody specific, but more for a group of people. Um, the Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate, which is about an old tree who sits between an old oak tree named Red, who sits between these two homes, one of whom is from an immigrant family, and it is in a town where not everybody is as welcoming and accepting of this family. And so Catherine Applegate dedicates this book for newcomers and for welcomers. Very sweet. And that is what this book is about, being accepting and loving and welcoming for those who are newcomers, who might be different from you in some way. Love it. Great, great dedication. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch has a great dedication for anyone who has wondered what their life might look like at the end of the road not taken, which is perfect for this book, which kind of takes a look at the choices we make and the potential outcomes of those choices and what if all of those were different realities in a way? Um, so what would we all, I think, wonder what if at different times? So this book is for you, for anyone who wondered what their life might look like at the end of a road not taken. So what if you took a different road? How would your life look? And then uh, the last one I'm gonna bring up is Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. This is for the, th for the hundreds who vanished and for the thousands who didn't. May your stories not be forgotten. For those who help today's orphans find forever homes, may you always know the value of your work and your love. I love that. Adoption is something that's very close to my heart. And this story broke my heart because it's about an, a woman in the 1930s who ran this orphanage that kidnapped children and then sold them to other people. And those who weren't sold off were abused and starved and just treated horribly in her home and it broke my heart and I didn't know until well into reading this book that it was based on true events which then just infuriated me so I love that she's dedicating this to those who ex who have experienced something along those lines or know somebody who did and for those who are doing something about orphans in a different way caring for children in a loving and kind way I love it very sweet dedication. So here are 10 books from my shelves that have dedications that stood out to me for different reasons. I really like reading dedications. I think it's fun to see who an author wants to honor and point out and highlight in that special way. My brother is a writer and will definitely have a book that gets published someday. I always tell him that he needs to dedicate his first book to his wonderful big sister. <laughs> Uh, that is it for me today. I would love to hear if you, um, if any of these dedications stood out to you or if you know of another book that has a wonderful ded dedication. Let's chat in the comments below about this or anything else. You know I love chatting with you down there. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more shelf spotlights from me or anything else. And I will be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.